Legend of Total War here with part 18 of my Medieval 2 Total War Let's Play campaign as Venice. Alright, so previously we destroyed the Kingdom of England and... I, th I can't remember what else. We've been conquering a fair bit. So, we've got four more nations left to kill and I said I would fuck up the Scots, didn't I? So let's do that now. Alright, so what I need to do... Obviously, there's a draw-out opportunity here. If I stand here, it's going to be good to cut off this army from here. You'll need to um, get off the crusade. The Pope's not going to like this, but that doesn't matter. So this is this is an exploit, what I'm doing here, but who cares. Alright, so, what we need to do... Um, the odds are evenly matched. Now, if I was to do that... No, I don't want to do that, because there's a uh, possibility here for a draw-out. Now, let me just see here. Faction Air... Family member. Okay, so their faction leader is not here, which means we can wipe them all out knowing full well it's not going to wipe out the whole faction and then, you know, leave rebels there in Edinburgh. But there's a lot of cavalry here. I think it's going to be very difficult to do a draw out fight on this, as in to successfully wipe them all out. I mean, I'm confident that I can beat them, but wiping them all out, that's another story. Anyway, let's, let's get to it. Generally speaking, the more cavalry that are in the army, because the thing is, cavalry are hard to run down. Once they break, unless you've got some very fast cavalry, you don't get a whole lot of time to run them down. Infantry, on the other hand, cavalry run them down with ease. It's easy to get them all, you know, provided there's not too many of them all that, that they corner camped. Okay, now, attacking from the way we have here is good because we're sent, we're, we're pincered. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to push hard in one direction and then turn around to face the other army. We have to push very hard because if we get caught in between two armies, it's a death sentence. But if we break them before they get here, oops, what about you? Well, then they're doomed. So stand here. We'll need to just make a mad rush for them, of course. I'm going to focus on the second army a bit more properly and get to it. Keep the generals together. Let's go. It's getting closer with the archers. Infantry. Go smash them. Cavalry, get around their flanks. So yeah, they're on their way here. The balance of power is in our favor at the very moment because it hasn't taken into account these guys. So we need to very quickly break them. It's a good thing we've got our faction leader, and arguably the best general now in the world. I'm not going to focus too much on wiping out their cavalry. If they end up getting back to the to the city, you know, as, as you know, I don't successfully complete the draw out. That's fine. What's more important is that we win and we keep our boys alive as much as possible. See, bloody instant route there. Hadn't even lost any men yet. All thanks to just overwhelming power and dread. Don't let these mailed knights get anywhere. A few trees around the place, that'll be a bit of a, a bit of a pain. See, get rid of these border horses. Is that possible? Now, one thing that we might struggle with is if our infantry all end up dying before they arrive, we're not going to have any to, to use there. See, these guys don't route instantly because the, the Dread is a localized um, uh, debuff. You have to actually be close to the general in order to be terrified. And when he's got 9 or 10 Dread, boy oh boy, is that one hell of a motherfucking penalty uh, debuff. I need to get over there. Our knights are not faring so well as as them. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get him over here if we can. So we just got to traverse the entire fucking battlefield to get there. But I need to break them or kill them or whatever. Just get over there and kill them. Okay, archers. Where are we going to go set up for the next fight? I'm going to start planning that out. Just get over here. So you two need to be... Con yeah, just keep running them down. 
kill as many of them as you can. We've already captured 330. And it keeps going up. Alright, King versus General. Let's do this. How'd you guys go? You've beat those mailed knights, but now I need you over here. Help us beat the General's bodyguard. He's also been caught by border horses. Oh shit, he's a little bit bloodied. So we need some backup. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle at the back. Only half the enemy force. Right, you've got to capture him. Alright, excellent. Got him. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well. Give the dog some wine and be sure he can see us defeat the rest of his army. Okay, the first army has pretty much been routed. They didn't last very long. And we've still got a good amount of time before the second army shows up. Now then, infantry, get behind here. These guys get ready to shoot now. The cavalry should be able to handle this from for the rest of this battle. Or this particular fight. They haven't fully routed yet, but there's nothing much more they can do. Their infantry are gone, the cavalry that remains are terrified. What are they going to do? Come on, you're not done yet. you got to help me run these guys down. What's going on here? They must have rammed into me with the cavalry. It's not a big deal. Come on, there's this whole huge bunch of spear militia here about to get away. I'm telling you to bloody get those guys and you failed me to an extent. Come on, you can still get like half of them, even if some of them get away. It's too many to let get away. Alright, with that, that's very unlikely we've wiped out this army. Very unlikely. Too many of them got away. But that's okay. We took out a lot of them. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. This is what I was saying, we need, need more cavalry if we want to really successfully do this, because the more cavalry you've got, it's not just about fighting, it's also about running these guys down, because you need some to uh, to break away from the fight and uh, to go and run down units sort of routed, which we didn't do. Couldn't do, because we we're... What's going on with you? What are you attacking at? These Oh, there's still some more troops over here. What are you doing all the way out here? Actually, that's a good spot for you. Why don't you just stay there for now? Alright, so the first army's defeated. Hang on, there's... Whatever. The enemy flees the battle! Run down those worthless peasants! There's a very small chance that the first army is actually destroyed. Very small. Because it was about... Yeah, maybe 200 men that got away. Maybe less than that. Because we did get some of those spearmen. They didn't all run away. The battle is in our what the favor. fuck is going on here? Oh, catapults are firing at us. That's what's going on. That's alright. You. Go and hit them in the rear. And you guys. Okay, now. Round two. Didn't get much downtime, but we just need to get to it. You guys definitely need to get back here. They need to hold the ground here, because I don't have much infantry, so therefore we need to have the uh, archers fight in melee. Dog's barking at something. It's alright. Come on, hurry up. You need to stop these catapults. They're doing a lot of damage. broken the catapults, but that should have stopped them, at least. There's some routing units where... But we're not done yet. 
Okay, get back, because that general is more than you can handle. Okay. Pretty much route of the army. All that's left is the general himself. Those mailed knights will come back, and it would be good if they did come back, because this is not 85%. Battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, they'll come back. Will be ours. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. So yeah, they're coming back. You should be able to beat some mailed knights. Captured a thousand men in this battle. My pilgrims are running away. Who cares about them? Yeah, my mailed knights are getting smashed, but that's okay. We win here, it's pretty much Scotland defeated. There's all of their forces just in one battle here. Gotta push on ahead. We haven't done, we're not done with you yet. The enemy flees the battle. Run down those worthless peasants. No, we're not going to be able to catch him. Coward. Sometimes having too much dread can actually be a detriment. Alright, well, don't let these infantry get away at the very least. Oh shit, no, not you. No, you'll never catch them, because they're exhausted anyway, so they'll never catch them. Alright, so the drawout isn't a complete success, but we won the battle, and only lost 31% of our forces. Which will be less than that, considering some of the units routed. Will be awed by the victory we 26 percent and we killed 83 percent so even if we had killed the enemy general the first army we didn't finish off so yeah it was actually 300 of them that got away we would have finished off this one so neither army was wiped out one due to we got the general didn't kill enough of the forces the other one didn't kill the general but we did kill enough of the forces but those that remain in there are insubstantial. They won't be able to take the settlement. Okay, let's merge all of our units here. Only one mailed knight left. Most of these guys are a bit damaged, so they'll have some time to heal. Now let's get me some of those. And proceed to settlement. Now the Pope might not be too happy with that. But because we've got good standing with him, he might just give me a slap on the wrist. Alright, let's go through this list here and try and see what needs to be done. Yeah, we need to besiege Prague. I need another general. Well, they're on their way. I'm going to send you. If you can catch up to him, that would be awesome. Actually, it, I would make more money if I was to send these guys backwards here to join the crusade, even though we're not besieging Prague. It's a bit of a messy army. We'll see if we can kill the generals. No point doing it, letting any of them go because we can't get to crack out. Again, probably get a slap on the wrist for this. I'll 
Um, I think we'll just have this one be a cavalry rush. Now in the woods here, they don't have much. Let's go out and smash them. This is what cavalry's for, field battles. Then again, the archers would be really good to get rid of these these guys here. Barely even see what I'm doing here. The battle is in our favor. Oh, if stupid we skirmish mode. Hearted, victory will be ours. This guy is not the greatest of generals, so I'm not expecting mass rout. Or instant mass rout. They've also got some spears here. Mm, it's gonna cost me if I don't quite get in there. Of course, any of these guys here that are dying, the, bo the bodyguards, of course, doesn't really matter that much. So, yeah, not really using good tactics on this one, but didn't really care. It's too small to scale up a barrel, forest everywhere. Can't be bothered to micromanage it. Above his kind, we have captured the enemy's general. Right. The enemy, this good result, is though. No ransom. We show little mercy, they deserve none. Let me strike, my lord. Okay, now to take crack out, that is going to be difficult. Now it's quite possible that if we besiege this, they'll actually stally out, which will actually be pretty good. But if they don't stally out, I'm not going to assault. Not a oh, then again, depends what they've got. If it's all the fucking ballistas in there, then that's not really that big of a deal. I don't really have that many infantry, but we'll besiege it to stop them from recruiting. If they want to sally out, go right ahead. It's to our advantage. We've got plenty of cavalry. Okay, what else needs to be done? Yeah, I could use a bit more cav. Why not? It's a crusade time, it's time to... Oh shit, I missed that. Why? I could have actually made it there. Eh, it doesn't matter. Paladin de Recho. Right. Um, if I recruit a few more troops here, I might be able to put him on crusade and maybe chase after these guys. Or maybe we'll head over to Tripoli here. Someone needs to get there at some point. So 77 territories, so that means 29 left to go. Okay, it looks like we're going to make a huge profit during the end turn, because if you have a look at this now, my army upkeep has gone down to fuck all. So let's begin construction. It's not going to be heaps we construct. In fact, I'm going to work... Oh, shit. Public order here is not good. Okay. What I'm going to do is going to work on the regions that have the smallest public order first. So Budapest, bad public order, but that's because... 
It has no garrison there at the moment. Baghdad, bad public order. Garrison's improving. I don't know what I can do about that. Novgorod. Yep. Antioch has bad public order. I don't think that, that they have free upkeep, so yeah, get those. Might stop building that and instead build the city watch, which will provide some more public order. Actually, maybe I should train a priest. Burn, which we converted to a large town. We can drop the tax on that. Start building it up. There's not much more I can build. Is there anywhere where I can build a road? Because that's the cheapest building in the game. There it is. And then moving on. They still didn't assault. I thought, okay, this is the turn. They're going to take the settlements now. St. John's headquarters. Sounds good, I'll take that. Now, St. John's headquarters. Cease hostility with Denmark. Okay, reputations. Yeah, slap on the fist. Public health bonus for Knights of St. John. That's pretty good. Increases population growth. No global bonuses, though. I do like the global bonuses. Okay, only the, the Papal States are richer than me, but that's only because I've given them so much money over the years. So yeah, they only care about... with Denmark. Now... Even though they're the ones that started the war, you dumb shit. I did build siege equipment. Yeah, I did. That assault's probably going to be... Oh, most of it's cavalry, isn't it? Yeah, it should be fine. So where is this? Move out. Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. Laying siege. Looking good. That should be easy. Ish. Alright, hopefully I can just hire a ship from here. Oh, piece of crap. What about from here? Alright. Guess what, I made it back before you did, bitch. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna send one of these guys ahead. Oh, hang on. What's wrong with you, you slowpoke? Well, whatever. Send these guys ahead to go and besiege the settlement. Shit, I need more troops. Are you lazy or something? You got a logistics expert, what's wrong with you? Slothful, right. Half a mind to throw you into the fucking river. Well, then just leave him behind alone. Good, so that'll get rid of um, them next turn. What a mess, we'll have to reorganize this. Then horse archers, then archers, and then infantry. I don't want to hire any more. Make sure they don't desert. Same thing needs to go here. We need to reorganize this. It's bloody messy. Funny thing is about this settlement, I know I can beat this with just one general's bodyguard because I've done it before I did in the Blitz campaign, but it's fucking hard. It must have taken me quite a few tries to do that. Some more Armenian archers would be good, but we can make do with what we've got. 
hopefully. So 77 territories, yeah. What's left to take? Oh, right, we've still got Thorn to do. Oh man, that's going to be a pain in the ass. Crack out. They didn't sell it out. Oh no, I might be able to win that. If we can open the gate, we should be fine. Because you've got a bit of dread that'll suddenly come in handy. Your orders, number one. Your orders, number one. It's possible if we take Krakow and Thorn that this will turn rebel. We've also got this settlement to deal with. No, don't come off the cru uh, come on the crusade just yet. Oh, that one's not on. It doesn't matter. Let's do this. So yeah, it's not going to be good in regard to the. Oh, we can just sort of resolve this. Yeah. So the Pope didn't really appreciate it. Us not listening to him, but there's nothing that a small bribe can't fix. Okay, leave behind this unit here, and let's. Oh fuck. Yeah, we should be able to keep moving. Who do I face? Next stop, Oslo. Approaching, my lord. Come here, my lord. Can't even cross over that whole land in one turn on crusade. Alright, let's do this battle. Okay, no way. Oh, jeez, even they managed to get away. How the fuck did that happen? Most of what we're up against here are just cavalry, so we should be fine. So there's four settlements left in Britannia. Then again, I've only got three of them. Soon four. Because there's Inverness, Dublin, Carnarvon. Alright, this army here is... Yep, it's organized. It just looks like a dog's breakfast, that's all. Um, I'm just going to attack it head on. If they burn this one, then this one, will, then that ram will get in. Because the thing is, in vanilla, there's no boiling oil, so we don't need to worry about that. And I'm just going to punch my way through really hard. The battering ram is in place. It will not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. Okay, drop all that. I'm not going to need my archers for this one. We're just going to punch our way through. Yeah, you come in as well. Men have done well. The gates have fallen. There's no boiling oil, right? Yeah. Only in Kingdom's expansion. And this is, of course, vanilla. I'm gonna push through. Get rid of these mailed knights. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Good, they're broken, but they fight to the death, but that's okay. Hopefully these guys will follow suit. Get to that. Alright, all of these guys here are now cut off from the town square. But we need to still kill the enemy general. Well, obviously. Give grace to God. We have captured the enemy's walls. Alright, I'm just going to send all of my melee units up ahead. No, 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 not you. All of my melee infantry, I mean, to go and fight the general. All of my cavalry will wait behind here. Make sure that they don't get disturbed. He didn't recover all of his casualties anyway. Doesn't 
but they hit you get inside. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. Oh shit. Actually broke, what a coward. Well, let's move further in. Because the guys up on the wall are shooting at us. Our men have taken control of the city. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Okay, you'll have to push ahead of this guy. Make him break. There we go. Okay, looks like all that's left is, is right here. How'd we go with this? 23%? It's not too bad. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory. Good, I think that went rather well. Could have been done better, but it was done quickly. So that was a Master's Guild that just got turned down to Theologian's Guild. Well, whatever, if it's not a Master's Guild, I don't need it. And even if it's a Master's Guild, I don't need it. Alright, I'm going to leave behind just that. Give myself some Crusader Sergeants and let's head up north. It's possible that they've taken um, Dublin. How am I looking at it? How the hell did I look at Dublin? Interesting. If I select it, I think I may have just discovered another exploit. I'm trying to find where it is. Bear with me. Okay, so it's right there. If I'm selected on another building and then I select on where Dublin is supposed to be, I can see what's in there. Looks to me like Scotland did take it. That's interesting. Let's try that with something else. Okay, Stettin is around here somewhere. Huh, it works. Let's see exactly how many units are in there. Oh, I am the discoverer of exploits. Alright, stand there. Oh, shit. So this probably won't wipe them out. I can't even see what's in there. They must have a spy blocking us, but that's fine. When shall we attack the wars then, my lord? I don't suppose we need any more troops from London. Once uh, once he has taken Dublin and Carnarvon, that's... Well, then again, he could come down here and take these two. There's just no urgency on that one, that's all. Alright, Krakow. That will be hard, I think. Definitely possible, but let's have a look. So the odds are actually not in my favour. We're up against a king. Okay, we've... Thing to note, we've only got four loads of infantry, so we have to get inside the gate. Yeah, we have to open the gates up somehow. Now, they've only got four loads of infantry as well, so we just need to outsmart them. The artillery aren't, aren't going to count for shit. And that cavalry, the Slav infantry, they can thin them out a bit. Alright. I feel like we've got the advantage. Provided we can open the gates. Oh, I've only got ladders. It's fine. One for each side. Okay, looks like they're defending all the areas. So which one's the least defended? Hmm. 
This one here is the least offended. Fifty-five Polish spears right there. Actually, I'd say that one's least offended. All right, let's try and make our way around there. Okay, they've just dropped it from here. Let's let's get in there. You guys get ready to go inside. No time to waste, just get over there right now. And you hurry up and capture that wall. Don't worry about that, it's not important. We've got to get here quickly. Walls are no match for valor and force of arms. All right, we're in. Well, hang on, not just this very second, but we are in. Give grace to God. We have captured the enemy's walls. Now we need my guys to get off the wall, but we can take out these artillery at least. As long as they don't shoot us first. Come on, quickly. What the fuck was that? Fucking Facebook or something. So, you need to get off the wall to make them come off the wall. Get around their back, it'll be a lot easier to break them. It seems like their general is quite good because these guys here just don't seem to want to break. But that doesn't matter, we can beat them in melee. Someone's shooting at us. Polish nobles? Alright, go kill them. They're coming straight for us anyway. Crossbow militia. Those are great to kill. More crossbow militia. Good, we got a route going here. Excellent. Don't forget about the Polish nobles. Okay, they need to get away from the wall, because the wall's actually shooting backwards at us. Uh, I didn't get all of them, but... Got all of those. Oh, hang on, I might actually catch them. Okay. Um, slow down. That's enough of that. We don't want to be fighting their, their king just yet. Other units in mind for that. Okay, I need two of you to go around this way and hit into their rear. You stay there, keep fighting them. You two just, just stay right where you are. Pretty much all their other units are dead. Come over here. Could open the gate with these guys, but I need them to hurry up and get over here because I want to hit them in the rear. Smash him. Good, we broke them both. Right, fuck it. Don't let them get away. Wait, someone else is coming. They've still got Ballista, and there's another unit over. God, I can't see where it is. Slow down. There's one there, and there's one... 
here somewhere. Oh, right, I just didn't wipe it out. So good. Um, where are you? Up on the wall. Alright, get over here. Need you to go and attack. You get in there as well. We want to stop these um, ballista from firing. So we pretty much won this no matter what. This is merely now a case of... Oh, shit. Um, we shouldn't have stood there. Now a case of trying to minimize the amount of damage I take. That was probably one of the most destructive force um, ballista fires I've seen so far in this game. I feel like I'm just going to have to go right into here and fight him. Oh, God, that's such a bad idea. Every time I've done this in the past, I get my general kill. Is in our Where is he? If we He's safe there. Victory will be ours. I mean, it's easy come, easy go with these guys. It's just this guy here that's in... Oh, he's in massive danger. Get him out of there. As long as the general themselves are not in combat... We're okay. Uh oh. If I had to guess, I'd say he's probably dead. Oh, he's, he's okay, he's gonna live another day. Well, a few more minutes, maybe. Seconds. We'll see. Because we haven't really killed that many of the bodyguard yet. We still outnumber him, but we need to take into account. Um, difficulty level and the fact that our guys are a little bit tired. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Praise the saints. Our men have taken control of the city. Okay, if you can get a good solid charge into his rear, that would be awesome. Our men no longer command the city. Okay, Polish king, he's gone. The enemy king lies dead. The enemy, this is a clear victim. Wasn't as costly as I thought it would be. Could have been a lot worse than that. Victory. There stood no chance. Don't need that. Well, that was worth a hell of a lot of money. Now this guy's the king. If they don't have a family member in there, which if we went and had a little closer look. Of course, my lord. Your orders, noble one. Your orders, noble one. Yes. Can't tell, I don't know why. Your orders, noble one. Oh shit. Didn't have enough men in there. Pretty much an all mercenary army. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. Your orders, number one. Okay, we're at 44 minutes. That battle there is going to take me probably about 15 minutes, so it's just the right amount of time. Okay, you come and join them. Oh, I didn't put these guys on crusade. Probably with good reason. We can put them on crusade after we've taken this. It will possibly destroy Poland. Poland do own Stettin though, so I guess we'll see. They don't have much infantry, so it's going to be difficult for them to protect the walls. Siege equipment. This is a fortress as well. I want to reorganize this. It's messy. It's always messy. I'm 
put Bulgarian brigands on the ladders. And leave one here and two around the other side here. They'll only be able to spot two of them because they've only got two loads of infantry. One there, one here. Okay, so the ram is free to open the gates. Then once the once the gates um, open, we send in the spearmen, go and kick some ass. Our men have reached the gate with the battering ram. They'll probably fall back to the next level. We'll just have to worry about that when we get to it. If we can take out their infantry, they won't be able to protect the walls. to praise the day before sunset but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory a lot of polish nobles those guys are a pain in the ass and you can see they're shooting as well basically getting into melee combat but that's okay they don't have enough ammunition really to uh, to destroy armored sergeants and that's even if they use all their ammo Okay, yeah, so these guys going back to the next level. And they've abandoned these guys. But we've caught their peasants, and the guys here... Oh, I doubt I'll be able to catch them. Right, you come up on the wall here, they're not coming back. Come and open the gate so that you can come up this way. So far the battle's going pretty average. I mean, we've got a 4% advantage, but that's not much. It'll be a lot higher once this gets captured. Okay, don't let them get those blisters away. If you can, if you can cut them off, that would be awesome. Then they they literally have no infantry available to man the walls, so I'll be able to put ladders up there with no risk. Now they're coming back out, maybe to try and maybe they're trying to help these guys get back in. I don't know. So what's going on over here? I would just ignore them, the peasants. They're not getting back inside. Get over here. I need you to fight over this way. Okay, so I'll bring you back over here. So that you can wrap these peasants. The oh, you're fighting them. But our men are winning the battle. Our men have reached the walls with their ladders. I don't recall if this guy's got lots of dread or not. Hopefully he does. No, those dismounted Polish knights. Um, they got back. The thing is, peasants in this particular situation, where they've essentially got their back to the wall, can actually beat male knights on this difficulty. Because, in a way, they're sort of like, sort of spearmen. But anyway, our guys seem to have enough dread to make them break. While they're trying to get the catapults in, the gates are going to be open. That's our chance to get in. Just wait. Wait for them to actually get the, the catapults, like... To, to like wedge the door open. Right, fucking move it right now. Let's go. They won't cl close the gate on it when it's like this. No. Oh. It's still open. Why is there king out here? The fuck is he doing? Uh, I don't know, that's weird. Is 
the gate open? Oh, the gate's been closed. Hang on, some more guys are coming in. I've got to push forward. Push in. If the gate's open, make use of it. So I don't have to get the fucking ram all the way over here. What the hell are they doing with their king? It doesn't make any sense. Just going for a brisk walk before being defeated. That's going to be dangerous getting in there. Maybe you two should just hang back here. It's got the potential to do a lot of damage to me. Oh, our guys are getting in. That's good. Okay, we're in. Go and put a stop to those catapults quickly. I don't know why their general isn't here. It looks like he's on his way back now, though. Oh, yeah, you need to get in here, you knights. Still a time. Yeah, I can't really get to those catapults. I don't know. Blocked by all these guys. I'll try going around this way. I'm not really fast if I lose my knights. Just train some more. Ooh, watch out. This is why we got to get rid of these catapults. In this sort of situation here, there's potential for them to cause really a lot of damage. we just got to uh, stop them from shooting. Oh shit, one of our guys is... Oh, that's the guy that's up on the wall, right? Okay, yeah, he's safe. The battle is in our favor. Yeah, good luck to this prick trying to get back inside now. Victory will be ours. Not going to happen. This battle's mine. The city's mine. Poland is mine. He's never going to get through this. You guys, if you could get a little bit more like this, it would be better. There we go. We wanted to come in a little bit, so we got him surrounded. This is getting chewed up like shit. The enemy king. This is a clear victory that goes to all. Blessed Lord, we thank you for delivering us. God be praised for blessing us with victory. Alright, cool. Well, it didn't finish off Poland. So, we'll have to, um... Besiege it the dirty way. I might get this army to do it, actually. Of course, my lord. Your orders, number one. With God's blessing and yours. And I'll just get this guy to bypass it and come up to that's a rebel castle. Why don't we tr actually try and lift this siege? Yes. Make camp, men. We rest here. Your orders. Jeez, if I had a little bit more movement, I could have made it to to stop them. It's fine. Come closer. 
when does that surrender? Two turns. We might just make it in time. So looking at how the Pope likes me, yeah. That went down considerably during this turn. They're not going to be very happy with that at all, the Pope. But what I'll do, we'll just give him a bit of a gift to grease the wheels. When the turn's up, we're not quite there yet. And um, that should sort out yes. at our problems. All right, let's just check who hasn't moved. All right, these guys here. Um, straight to step in with you. Your orders, one. Just leave behind the garbage slavs. Good, saves me a bunch of money. Your orders, number one. Yes. Establishing a tireless watch here, Lord. Battle will resolve our differences. Well, their king's not there. Well, they own Breslau as well, so I guess Poland actually had quite a bit of time to um, expand. Name thy enemy, Lord. Your orders, number one. Of course, my lord. We shall continue at first light. If we're going up against the castle, we'll need melee troops. Oh, actually, I just merged them there. Yeah, get some more knights. Why not? So we're currently sitting on 81 settlements, and I think I'll end the episode here. So guys, like and subscribe. Part uh, 19 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.